Did you know that um, one of the first people to successfully perform a heart surgery was an African-American? In fact, some sources record him as the first to have successfully performed a heart surgery. Hi. Welcome to another episode of uh, the Sankofa Pan-African series. Um, please support us by subscribing if you have not yet done so. Because if you don't support us, we can't continue bringing you this series. Thank you. Now, the legend we're celebrating today is um, Daniel Hale Williams, who was born in 1856 and raised in the city of Hollidaysburg in Pennsylvania. His family, however, moved to Annapolis, Maryland, when he was young. Uh, his father uh, was a barber, um, when, uh, uh, Dan uh, but uh, he died when Daniel Hill Williams was, uh, was nine. And uh, because his mother could not afford to... Um, take care of him and his siblings, she decided to send them, uh, some of her children, to go and live with relatives. Now, um, Williams, a legend today, uh, Daniel Hill Williams, ended up uh, with a relative who was a shoemaker in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, and uh, he became apprentice to this family member uh, that he was living with as a shoemaker. The person he was living with was a shoemaker and he became apprentice to him. But he was unhappy there. So he ran away back to, uh, to, to live with his mother who had uh, then moved to Rockford in Illinois. Uh, but later he went on to join his sister in Wisconsin where he opened his own barber shop. I think maybe following the line of his father. And then, um, although he started practicing as a, as a barber, he very quickly became fascinated with medicine and decided he wanted to change his profession. Now, for any white man at the time, making a jump from being a barber uh, to becoming a doctor might not have seen, been, been too remarkable a thing. However, black doctors were a rarity. This is not stop. This did not uh, stop Daniel Hill Williams, and so, but he because he went ahead and got himself apprentice to a doctor, under whom he studied for about two years before then proceeding to study further at the Chicago Medical College. Now, the Chicago Medical College is now known as a Northwestern Medical School. Now, after graduating, he served as a surgeon for the South uh, Side Dispensary. He also worked as a physician for the Protestant Orphan Asylum. However, in order to provide opportunities for African Americans who were in the medical professions, in 1891, he founded the country's first interracial hospital called the Provident called the Provident Hospital. Now, um, in addition to offering medical care to African-American patients, the Provident uh, Hospital also trained Afri started training African-American nurses and um, even interns. Uh, it took, started taking on uh, medical interns and training medical nurses in the United States. Uh, and it was the first school you know, uh, to do so, uh, uh, to train African American nurses in the in the United States, it was at uh, Provident Hospital that Williams performed the legendary groundbreaking surgery on the tenth of July, eighteen ninety three. On a patient who he performed it on a patient who had been uh, uh, stabbed uh, in the heart uh, with a knife. Dr. Williams uh, opened the patient's thoracic cavity without any modern anesthetic, blood transfusion, or antibiotics. He then he sutured the, the heart, he repaired the, the torn uh, 
pericardium, pericardium of the heart, which is the sac which surrounds the heart. And then he repaired it and then uh, closed back uh, the heart and the chest. And then the patient went on to live for another 20 years. Even today, it's not, that's not a mean um, achievement. And it is, he is actually credited by the Encyclopedia uh, Britannica as the person who first successfully carried out um, a heart, the repair of a heart in, in the United States um, of, uh, of America. Uh, thank you uh, once again for being a part of this uh, journey with me. Uh, please help us to continue to bring you um, our history and the, uh, the lives of our legends um, uh, like this uh, by subscribing, giving us a thumbs up, liking our videos, and then also help us share with your contacts. Thank you. See you next time.